Good morning and welcome to a small village. So we arrived, this is the craziest thing, we arrived late last night or in the evening, maybe what, six o'clock, yeah. five o'clock. We walked through here, absolute ghost town. Restaurants were even closed because nobody was here. It was dark, we go to bed, we walk through here because our, our place that we're staying is back there. It's completely dead. We wake up this morning and it's literally like intense. Buses are here, people are here, people are staring. It's like insane. There's so many people here, so I'm quite shocked. So like someone turned on the light switch to this place and it started overnight. I don't know, are you looking for food? I'm talking, I'm hopefully you're finding food while I'm talking. I don't know. Um, oh, there's a restaurant right behind us. Maybe we'll eat here. Does it look good? Crackers? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like in uh, Gujarat is they have these breakfast foods, which is like crackers, and it's really not my favorite thing in the world. Blah. Hopefully we can find a coconut. Or maybe crackers and coconut. How's that sound? Crackers and coconut? We're gonna find crackers and coconuts. So we looked for breakfast, couldn't find anything because everything is pre-cooked, set out, uncovered, and thousands of flies are like landing on all the food and there's no way I'm going to eat that. So we resorted to coconut and potato chips. How was your amazing breakfast? Um, yeah, it's light breakfast ever. So we made it to the beach, basically nobody's here. There's three boys down here fishing and through translation, I guess, they decided that they wanted to stay home from school today and go fishing, so they did. Hey. 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 <laughs> so a man came down the hill and asked us if we wanted to go to his house to have tea, so we're on our way, we accepted. He said that the children, they send them to school every day, but often the children fight and beat on their teacher because they don't want to be there. And so like the teachers send them home or the children come home and now they don't want to go to school very much. So yeah, it's just kind of like, we don't want to go to school, so we hit the teacher and then we can play. So that was fun, we just had tea with the family. The questions always turn a little bit weird because I think in India, from what I've learned from my three is that a man and a woman traveling together who are not married is very taboo, very strange in India because men and women are separate until marriage. It's kind of like this thing, I don't really fully understand it, but all of the questions always turn to, are you married? What are you doing together? You're not married, this is bad, why are you doing it? That type of thing. And all we're doing is traveling together, where we have no relationship other than that. But everybody's mind is, is that way, so I don't know, it's a different experience. All the questions always end with, I want your phone number. Well, we grabbed lunch. We took a rickshaw to a different village to go to a bank so I could get money. I was literally down to less than 50 rupees. I had like 30 rupees in my pocket. So now we are going to go up to the top. Apparently there's a temple up there and we're going to hike to the top. I think after we hike, we're going to go back down and go over that way to the lake or the, the sea. And we're going to try to get a little bit of swimming in this afternoon, even though my tree does not know how to swim. I'm going to teach her how to swim. So we are at the entrance now and here we have people who literally just want money everywhere that you go. It's so awkward. That woman back there followed us all the way to the hotel this morning. But you were saying there were some people who sit in front of a temple. Literally they make more money than the people who work all day long. Yeah, that's true. In India people have so much like some high category people are so much simple people. 
And so there's so many people who give so much money every day that they end up making more money than the people who work all day long. Yeah. Obviously this doesn't happen all of the time, but apparently it is a thing. We have the same thing that happens in the United States. You can look into that. Again, it's not the majority, it's the minority, but it happens. So we made it to the top, took a whole six minutes. Wasn't very tall, but I'm not going to go in. I'm wearing shorts and uh, that's like a weird thing in a temple. This is actually the first, probably the second day I'm wearing shorts since I've been in India for about two months now. Everybody wears so much clothing and I feel like if I wear shorts, people like stare at me because I'm not normal. So I just wear pants. Let's not go inside the oh, but I can go in here? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go in, I, guess. I just feel, I've heard you're not supposed to wear shorts. I'm more interested in the view around than anything else. Oh, and by the way, it's like every bit of 90 degrees outside. We made it to the beach, as you can see. And my three is going to learn how to swim. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So when was the last time you like tried to swim? Never. Never. Like never, never? Never. Is it because you're too scared or is it just not like why? I don't understand. Our parents never sent us to like swimming or something. They don't let us like swim in like near the sea. So today I'm feeling free, now I'm growing up child. Alright, you're growing up today. Yeah, growing up. Time. Let's let's start in this one just to be safe. You want to start in here? It goes up to my ankles. Be careful. So we found like a river channel with a bit of a current that uh, drags us through here. You can see people behind me. It's a little bit deeper over there. We haven't gone there yet. We're just trying to cross. We're having fun. At least I am. Do you feel any fish nibbling on your toes yet? No. <laughs> me neither. But probably going to happen. How, how deep have you ever been in your life? Yeah. This? So you... But standing. Yeah, standing. So we're sitting right now. We're actually on our butt. So it's not very deep. But over there, if we go deeper, you want to go deeper? Mm -hmm. You want to go deeper? That kid over there was pretty deep. Try to find a deep place. We accomplished the kiddie pool. Now we are on our way to the sea. Are you feeling confident? Yeah. Why did you delay in your response? I'm more scared of jellyfish than anything else. Ow! You like that kind of hurt. Yeah, I'm scared of jellyfish. Ooh, ooh, big rocks. Oh, I think I just cut part of my leg. Yeah, the water gets deep pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. So, I think this is safe for a minute. Ooh. Ah, the rocks are really sharp here, though. Oh, now I'm very tall. I'm scared of stepping on a crustacean. I did that in the Philippines. I stepped on a sea urchin. Oh my god, it drove the spike into my foot. That hurt really bad. Are you coming? Baby steps. Okay, change of plans. We're going back. The rocks are extremely jagged, but it actually kind of hurts. Anyway, I think we're going back to the, uh, the kiddie pool. This man is showing me that they have a stingray, a baby stingray. So I went to go check it out. Oh wow, a big one. Wow, a big stingray and a baby stingray. Alman. Wow. Wow. It's really cool. Oh, he's gonna get lost in the little, the little pocket. Come on, little guy. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't go here. Go here. Crazy. I've never seen one in nature and I've never held one in my hand. Oh wow, he's picking up the big one. So after they found the stingrays, we've all decided to kind of walk around and see if we can find anything else. They found a crab in one. You gonna hold the fish that you've never held before? <laughs> I want to go. Um, 
Okay, camera. Okay, you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. What did you? Well, I think that's pretty much it. We spent some time playing over here, catching catching things in the water and watching people catch crabs and play with crabs. It's kind of strange. And I think we're uh, pretty much done. I'm starting to become a little bit more dry. I think we're going to head in soon. So uh, yeah, it was a kind of a fun day, lazy day, and a very short video. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. And remember, your time is running out. Start living. Take care.